Hello class, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? My name is Teacher Ivan and this is your English class of today. All right? So the questions are the same as usual. What is the day today? How do you feel today? And how is the weather today? Okay? Write those and write those answers on the comments below, right? We have this challenge of the dancing, remember? Yeah. So, um, have you been practicing? Excellent. I'm going to leave you with the video again so you can practice again. And when teacher Alex see you, you can impress him. All right? Here we go. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the craze of my native street. When I start to dance. Oh my god, it's going to be amazing. Alright class, so remember, at the end of the month, you are going to dance that same song and the same moves and everything with Teacher Alex, right? Alright. Okay, let's start by remembering the rules. Do you remember the rules? Okay, if you don't remember, don't worry. They are going to be right here. Number one, once you start the video, you keep going till the end. Number two, Speak and think in English. Number three, get materials. And number four, write comments in every class because that will count as participation. All right, so don't forget to do it. All right, class, before we start with the topic of today, we need to make a little review. Are you ready? First, let's see if you remember singular and plural nouns. Right? I'm going to raise one, two, three, four, any uh, number of fingers, and you are going to tell me if they are plural or singular. Right? Are you ready? Here we go. Excellent. <coughs> so you do remember what is plural and singular, all right? Singular, plural, 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 singular, perfect. All right, next step, let's do it something more difficult. What do you have to do with verbs that ends with the letter F in order to turn them into plural? Let me give you one example. Wolf. What is a plural of wolf? Is it wolves or wolves? If you know the answer, write it down. Write it down in the comments below. And the first five students on answering correctly are going to get an extra point. So go ahead, pause the video and do it. If you answered wolves, then you are correct. Congratulations. We finished the review. Congratulations. Let's celebrate by dancing the challenge. Here we go. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the craze of my native street. When I start to dance. Perfect. That was amazing. By the way, here's a list of irregular nouns, so you know some of them, or you can remember some of some of them, and so you can practice. Okay, class. Now you're ready to start the real topic of today, which is direct object. So take your book, take your pencil, and let's go to page 77. Everybody there? Okay, me too. So the direct object of a sentence is the person, place, animal, or thing that the subject is acting on. It answers the question, who or what? For example, my family eats pizza. What does my family eat? Pizza. Pizza is the direct object. Okay? As you can see, in this example, my family eats pizza. My family is the subject. And eats pizza is what they are doing. So, what does my family eat? 
pizza. Remember that direct objects are usually on the same sentences with the structure, subject, predicate, all right? All right, let's go back to the book. Let's read the instruction. Read the paragraph below, underline the subjects and direct objects in the paragraph. Then classify the words you find in the paragraph into the boxes below. Categorize the nouns as either subjects or direct objects, all right? We need to remember just one thing. Sentences always start with capital, letter, and ends with a punctuation mark. In this case, periods, all right? So the instruction is, we're going to circle all the sentences on this paragraph. Let's begin. My scout troop hiked the Inca trails last month. Is that a sentence? Yes. Let's circle it. David saw an Andean condor high in the clouds. Is that a sentence? Yes. Let's use blue. Next, our teacher told a story about the bird to us. Is that a sentence? Yes. Let's use orange. Next one. The Inca worshipped the bird. Is that a sentence? Yes. Let's use blue again. Later, Mr. Grabowski made some traditional food for us. Is that a sentence? Exactly. Let's use red. I will never forget our hike. Is that a sentence? Of course. As you can see, this last sentence ends with an exclamation mark. All right? Okay, now let's analyze. Let's look for the subject and the object and the direct object on each sentence, all right? My scout troop hiked in the Inca trails. What is the subject? My scout troop, correct. So let's put it in a box. My scout troop hiked. They hiked what? A mountain? The Inca trails, correct. We're going to put it in a circle. That is the direct object. So now we know my scout troop is the subject and the Inca trail is the direct object. So let's write it down. Subject, my scout, oops, troop, sorry, there. And the Inca trails. Perfect. Next one. David saw an Andean condor high in the clouds. What is the subject? David. What did David saw? An Andean condor. Perfect. That is the direct object. So let's write it down. David is the subject and an Andean condor. The direct object All right okay let's continue our teacher told a story about the bird to us what is the subject our teacher and what is the direct object the bird correct so our teacher and direct object the bird Perfect. The Inca worshipped the bird. Who is the subject? The Inca. Good. They worshipped the bird. Is the direct object. The Inca. And the bird again. Sorry. the bird there next later mr. Grabowski made some traditional food for us what is the subject mr. Grabowski and what is the object and what is the direct object 
some traditional food. Perfect. So let's write down Mr. Grab, Mr. Grabowski. And the direct object is some traditional food. Food. Good. And the last one, I will never forget our hike. What is the subject? I. And what is the direct object? Our hike. Perfect. So let's write down. I, remember, capital. And our hike. Perfect. And we finished the page. Congratulations. You see, it was super easy. Now, let's celebrate with, yeah, the dancing. Let's go. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the craze of my native street. When I start to dance. Okay, class. Let's go over some... Let's go over some key elements for the direct objects, okay? One, the direct object is found on the predicate. It is what the subject is acting on. My family eats pizza. What is my family eating? Pizza is the direct object. Okay, class, so that's it for me today. Remember that you have some homework. This is the homework. You are going to, number one, Read page 12 and circle five sentences. Cross out the verbs and underline and color the direct objects. All right? You already know the direct objects, right? So that is going to be the homework. Send that page answered and the page that you just finished right now on this class to the teacher Alex email. All right? And now I'm going to finish this video. As always, take care, be safe, and I will see you later, all right? I'm going to leave you with the challenge video again, okay? Bye-bye. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick, chicky boom, chick, chicky boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban Pete. I'm the craze of my native street. When I start to dance. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When I play the maracas, I go chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. Yes, sir, I'm Cuban feet. I'm the craze of my native street. When I'm about to